Hey guys, welcome to Jelly Jars in the Sunroom. I am your host, Miss D. How was your week? Mine was busy, but that probably sounds like most Americans, right? Well, if you're listening, you survived it. That's the good news. That's a win-win in everybody's book. I've really been thinking, guys, and I think we're going to have to take control of the 2022 year. 2020, I was definitely the walking dead. I didn't know what had hit me. I am the state, I live in the South, so the state that I live in, everyone had uh, quote unquote sinus infections. There was no word about the pandemic or anything like that. And we were trying to figure out why everybody had coughs that they couldn't get rid of. By the time the media admitted that we were actually in a pandemic, the government was giving us the longest staycation I have ever had in my lifetime. 2021 was better. Like most people, I searched the internet and tried to educate myself. And I found the best course of action for me and my family. It took me approximately 30 days to figure out nobody knew what the heck they were doing. From the Ruta to the Tuta. Go to work. Stay home. Remote in. Hybrid work. Sign in from Tahiti. As Americans, I think for the first time in our current generation, we were rethinking what our priorities were and what we were going to do about it. And I believe that the rest will be history. I'm sure we're definitely going to go down in history for the pandemic. We are still changing as a people. We're still evolving into a new society that both challenges us and kind of makes us want to puke like the newest roller coaster ride. You know, you just got to try it, but you know you're going to feel ill while you're screaming your lungs out. My advice is don't eat first. That's all I'm saying. Seriously, guys, we can't let all this craziness go unchecked in 2022. A prime example is inflation. I understand price increases and how inflation works. However, I don't know what these people think they're doing or what somebody else is calling it. I am not paying Angus beef prices or Kobe steak prices for piggly wiggly beef. No matter what economic strata you live in, robbery is robbery. A quarter pounder is not a quarter pounder if you have a half an inch patty on the bun. That is not shrinkology. That is some bull. We can't continue to operate our lives in panic mode. But who can afford to stay sane and live that way into perpetua? How many of you guys have gone to your local food joint and balked at the prices? Guys, literally, my local place had blocked out all the prices on the signs and put market value. Okay, this is the local joint, right? Get a cheeseburger. Get some uh, chicken nuggets, get some catfish nuggets. It's like maybe five steps up from the local McDonald's. Market value prices, who were they fooling? I was ordering catfish and my city is close to the Mississippi River. We have plenty of access to fish, but they wanted almost $40 for two dinners. Four strips of catfish, a few fries and two tablespoons of salad. So shrinkology, inflated prices, and yeah, this could change by next week. My solution, (laughs) my solution was to buy a box of catfish with a price increase of about five to seven dollars, but it fed us three times, not once, but three times. Common sense, right? Nope. It took me refusing to spend my hard-earned, non-inflated money to do the smart thing. What options are you guys using to counteract the prices? Unless I'm going to fill my jelly jar with water only, I have to use my head. We have to have more options. And that's one thing that I'm very concerned with with this platform, that we don't just talk about problems or things that you only talk about in the sunroom but then we kind of think our way through this and figure out what works best for us. I decided I was only going to patronize businesses that have small but steady increases. 
and buy enough when I'm out doing grocery shopping to be proactive with keeping the cost down. If I find the pasta for a dollar twenty-five cent, who would have thought pasta would have gone up from a dollar? It's been a dollar forever. But some places it's a dollar fifty. So if I find it for a dollar twenty-five, I get an extra bag of pasta. Same thing with shoes. If I know that I wear three pairs of gym shoes in a year, if I find it at a almost reasonable price, I'm going to go ahead and get those three pairs if I can, if I can afford it so that I don't pay an extra 50 or hundred dollars later. Two years ago, we were caught off guard. I'm not that naive anymore and you shouldn't be either. Well, that brings me to an empty glass or in my case, an empty jelly jar. I'll talk to you guys soon. Remember, drink a little and grow a lot. See you soon.